All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Feral Blue. So this is a new game. It's in early access, so we're going to see just how good it is. But it gives me these vibes of Mountain Blade. And as I'm waiting for Bannerlord, and I cannot wait for it to come out, this one kind of gave me this kind of like dystopian feel where there's a lot of naval battles and there's sea fortresses and it's all about this like surviving after a giant flood so the old world was drowned after quote the second flood i guess the first one was like noah's ark or something and there's only a few survivors that are now fighting for the new gold which is clean water wood and soil and now we kind of have this like what was that game we played back when the ship game where you got this but this is also how you navigate in mountain blade as well and you can see in the mini map which is relatively basic at this point maybe it's placeholder oh here we go all right there's a ship going by there's an island but then we get to go in first person so what's this one called this is no faction you're at more at the free settlement and we can walk the streets we can visit the market or we can enter or we can attack the city or leave it I want to walk the streets to kind of show you. Look at this. So it's nighttime. There's my ship right there. And you can see the cannons and the crossbows at the front. We kind of have this whole like, what is it? It's almost like Waterworld, but set in like medieval times. Or like maybe medieval to Renaissance era. And I'm, I'm familiar with those eras because I play a lot of Civilization VI. Uh, it's such a fun game. Oh my god, these guys are creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now can I fight them? Okay. If I press tab, but I'm trying to find somewhere to go. Oh my god, they're growing crops. This is a really cool settlement. It almost kind of gives me like Fallout vibes. Fallout 3 where you like you got to set off the atom bomb. Oh, look, I'm on their roof. <laughs> okay, so they do have a mountain. But what I've noticed, and I, I play this a little bit, is that there rarely is anything to do in these cities. And I, I understand it's early access. But I can't even open like gates or go, you know what, so I guess we're gonna leave and something else popped up on the map Oh, whoa, 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 look at this. It's a boat. The junk wants to trade. Let's open fire So I'm gonna show you what a naval engagement looks like So we're gonna get up to speed and then I'm gonna press E and I'm gonna take command of the artillery here Now they probably have I'm gonna fire a a single shot. Oh, hold on We have grape shot loaded. I want regular cannonballs loaded at this point to try to damage the ship. He's sailing right at me, so I don't think he's got very much offensive armament. Was that a hit or a miss? I think that was a miss. And I'm gonna try to sail circles around this guy and just keep shelling him. No, he does- it, it does look like he might have cannons in the front. Alright, that was a full salvo. We got some hits. Now, if he's gonna be chasing me, do I have anything on the rear? I have grenades, I guess. All right, let's try this. He's chasing me. What are we gonna be throwing at him? Oh! We got a grenade. We're setting something on fire there. <laughs> the enemy ship's burning. And we hit the rear again. Okay, so I'm seeing guys getting dropped. Oh, hold on. The ship itself looks like it's dead in the water. So I'm gonna turn the ship around, and I think maybe now? Is it getting under sail again? I'm gonna try to sweep the deck with some grape shot. All right, so let's turn our ship a little bit. This is kind of wonky. Uh, I'm still getting the feel of it. Oh, the ship just sank. So what did we get? Collect the debris. We might as well do it. So they had 14 men aboard, and I don't think I have that many men, so let's see. Oh, captured vessel to be scuttled. Let's just take everything. So we got some water, some food, timber, iron, coal, junk, some alcohol, gunpowder. Ooh, we got some, oh my god. Take everything. Now, I feel like the ship was sinking, so we took everything, we're gonna proceed. Oh, there is actually a person on here. So, his name is I Backer. <laughs> Alright, well, we took everybody. Okay. Well, that was actually successful. That was actually my first successful naval engagement. So, this looks like it could be an empty settlement. We're gonna sail up to it. And if I wanted to colonize it, look at this. See, I need a thousand junk, iron. Water, food, timber, stone. So I'm unable to colonize it at the moment. And if we want to do that... Oh god, that's a pirate. We're gonna try to run. He just looks freaking fast. Oh my god, he pulled away. Alright, we're gonna rob another junk. Now, I'm gonna open fire because I, I don't trust that we have... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, sir! We've got cannonballs armed and ready. Alright, if he's coming at me again, I think we want to get some grape shot. He's gonna attempt to board, so... What I'm gonna do is wait for him to get close. All right, we got grape shot loaded. Now we're gonna sail away, because I don't want to get... 
I don't want them to board me just yet. See, there they are behind me. All right, now I've got my grenades again. Eat that, you dirty scallywagger! Oh, that was a miss. Oh, these are fire bolts. Okay, I've got like crossbows or something in the back. Very high shot. There's a hit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna burn them again. Ha ha ha. All right, we're gonna slow down. Two hits, but I, I think the rain might be... Okay, there we go, we got a fire set. And you can see that I'm running low on fire bolts as well. I guess we could do some heavy bolts. Yeah, the rain's just putting it out. Oh, man. All right, can we see how many people are on board again? I'm tempted to attempt to board them. Let's go, let's see. We've got grape shot loaded over here. I'm gonna sweep the decks again. Oh, all right, I fired two things of grape shot at them. I'm not seeing too many people left. Now we're gonna go to this mode where we fight kind of in third person. I've got a musket. Yeah, they only have a few guys. We should be able to take them. Now I can try to board them or they can board us. Oh God, they've got freaking samurais. But we ganked them. We had superior numbers. Now I've got to get over to their ship. Oh my God, we won. Okay, so, ooh, we had two people wounded, but they lost 10 people. Mighty fine ship she is, Captain. Shall we keep it, take over, or stay? Oh. Mmm. My, look at the, looking at the hull points and the navigation points, I think mine's better. So I guess we could switch to an enemy ship, but they only had one, two 16 pound culverines. So we're gonna stay, we're gonna take everything. And then, oh, there's five crew members this time and five serfs. Oh, I guess they're the same. Captured vessel to be scuttled. We're gonna take everybody because I don't really know what to do with them. Maybe I can sell them <laughs> into indentured servitude to put it lightly. This looks like a very big landmass over here. We're gonna go check it out. Pirates. I'm not ready to fight pirates, boys. Oh my god, oh my god, there's two pirates. Uh, all hands to battle stations. Uh, we can't handle them, disengage. All- all hands to battle stations. Okay, so, I'm gonna try to outrun them. Pirates are no joke. Um, oh man, look at that. That ship looks rather formidable. Alright, we got grape shot loaded, I'm gonna switch to cannonballs. I'm gonna use cannonballs from distance, when we get closer, we're gonna deal with more grape shot. Oh, that was a good hit! That was a good hit. We're loaded and ready to go again. Oh, that was just too low. This reminds me of the game, what is it, Battle? Battle Wake? All right, now we're gonna try to get out of here. I think it's too late, I think they've caught us. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have gotten ahead of them. Now I can use heavy bolts, and let's see. I've got six fire bolts. These are, we definitely need ammunition. All right, we got, oh man, I hit them. Okay, there we go, we got fire started, that should help burn the enemy. All right, we got both those hit, which is lucky. I think in the future it'd be cool where like if the crews would could be devoted to like putting out the fires and stuff like that. Crisis management. <laughs> All right, we're out of fire bolts, so I guess I could do heavy bolts. Oh, grenades are off the front, I think. Which doesn't make sense because the crossbows are actually in the front, not in the back. Are they in the like captain's quarters? I don't know. Something's fishy. Right, we're gonna slow down to let them get a little bit closer. Two heavy bolts away, and they look like they missed. Oh, we got one of them. And I wish you could see, like, how many people were left, because this might be a boarding option. All right, we got grape shot again. I'm gonna let them get up, get up next to us. Use some grape shot, hit and run. Oh, they've got a ton of people amidships. Press X to begin boarding action. No, thank you. Did that even hurt them? I think we missed with that. All right, I fired more... Grape shot? I don't- I can't tell. That had to hurt them. A bunch of their guys are dead now. They're just like right on us. Apparently I can't shoot my grape shot because they're like too close. Alright. Well, we just boarded. Oh my god, there's still a ton of them. There's a lot of them. Okay. Shoot your muskets. They don't have any muskets. Oh! <laughs> I said they don't have any muskets. So the captain died, but now I'm gonna take over here. Oh my god, there's, there's there might be too many of them. Combat's relatively basic at this moment. Oh my god, there's way too many. There's way too many guys. Yep. Reload that musket faster. All right, I'm running around the ship right now. Uh, I could try to hit and run, maybe? Their ship is on fire. I, all my crew's dead. And I got stabbed in the back. Okay, so at this point, we lose, right? So right now, at this stage of early access, I gotta say, there needs to be a little bit more than that. We could try a new campaign. We tried the Republic War Schooner. And we went on a very aggressive strategy. Oh no, we did have light ballistas on the stern of our war schooner. Okay. Okay, and then we've got... This is the order sloop. Let's try out a new ship. 
I want to believe in this game. Oh, look, and we've got like a, a cross and angel wings. Let's go to Shark Bay. Shark Bay's appearing as a city. And I've got a ton of crossbow bolts. Well, what would happen if we were to say attack the city? Do we go on foot? Okay, we need to def defeat their walls. Okay, well, let's go to war here. Oh! <laughs> That's not good. We're at full speed, and I'm firing crossbow bolts back at them. Oh my god, there's so many guns. And I'm firing arrows back, so I feel very inadequate. <laughs> this is so silly. All speed ahead. We're ramming the island fort. Oh my god, we're, we're gonna sink. Okay, but this is what it's like to attack a sea fort. Oh god. Fire everything! Oh, I have cannons on the front, so there's that. Oh, there we go. We sunk. Okay. But we did attack the ship. Okay. Well, once more into the breach. We're giving it a, we're giving it the old college try. It's only fair. The Mori Shogunate, a heavy steam junk. All right, well, let's see what naval battle with the heavy junk is like. Oh my god, look at how fast he's going. I'm gonna try to sink this ship. Oh, I saw one of their crew members go down. Because, yeah, there's wave action. There was this old game called Naval Action way back when that had ship combat pretty well done. And then there was, I think it was called Black Wake, that pirate simulator game, which really made naval combat a lot of fun. I don't be mindful of where my cannons are aiming. But like in that game, you could see like holes below the water line. If they would have just made a campaign for Black Wake, that would have been glorious. That looks like they're listing. I really would like to sink this ship. But naval battles are kind of basic at this point. Oh, no, are they listing anymore? Like I, I can't tell if it's just a hit point game. Or if there's damage models where, like, uh, you can actually, you actually want to hit below the water line because just can't tell how close it is. But see, so yeah, th this should not be 20 bucks. I'm sorry. It's interesting. It has potential, but this should be 5 to 10. 20? It's actually like 18.99. All right, we're out of cannonballs. I can do grape shot because I have no idea what's happening right now. And they don't try to run. It's just they, they like, they don't shoot. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know, guys. There we go. They stopped moving. Are they running now? Holy crap, they're running. All right, well, we're going to chase them down and attempt to board. Oh, my God. Okay. They got cannons over there. Let's get out of the cannons view. So they do fight back. This stupid ship is designed to be chased, but it was chasing us. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I have ammunition on this side. Yeah, I do. Hello! Grape shot to the face. There's still too many people for me. Oh, they're trying to get their cannons to bear on me. So I'm trying to avoid that. This is really funny. Wow. How, like, how did that grape shot just miss? You know what? Let's boarding action. There's only like six of them. And I don't like this. The, the musket hit detection, it's not like Mountain Blade at all, man. This is... Oh, I'm up. I'm over there. Now I'm back. All right, we'll just kill all the guys who board my ship. I think I might still lose this, which doesn't make sense because I was cannoning them, I was grape shotting them. This is just button mashing. <laughs> well, we took it over. So they had 15 people. We had, okay, you know what? How big was that ship? It was significantly bigger than the ship we have. Has more navigation points, more weapons points, and more hull points. Let's take it over. We're gonna take everything, proceed, and then look at all these people. There's like 10 crew. Take them all. Why not? Oh wait, is that that guy? Oh, now I'm on the other ship. What? Who's this dude? It's, it's the Illuminatus. Hello. Why can't I get them? My, probably because I'm damaged. All right. What we need to do is find a port and heal up because I'm at three times speed and look at how fast we're going. Yeah, this is crazy. Well, this is the port of Distant Shore. We will not attack it. We will enter the ship Weapons Workshop. Now, can I repair my ship? So I only have the stern is the only one with 16 pounder guns. The bow, I want to get Ooh, howitzers. The shot power alone is crazy. Look at the light crossbows basically do nothing. And I can't tell how much money I have or what it's in oh my god look at this russian yeah this is it's not intuitive i wouldn't recommend getting this game yet i haven't said that in a while we haven't really covered i'm a little disappointed i spent um 18.99 on this thing well another thing you can do let's go back to the menu you can do a quick battle and this kind of this is kind of cool you can your crew let's get a 30 people crew level max let's have them maxed out and i can change what kind of guns i want these ones seem to be the best, so let's get culverines everywhere. It's kind of like a battle simulator in a way. And we'll start with the sea battle, which 
We've done a decent amount, so this is a giant freaking ship. The ship's gorgeous, and the ship we're going up against is relatively small. Now, where are they? And once again, the enemy ship is just derp derp heading straight for me, so maybe the AI is one of the issues. But this thing's super fast because of what, the steam power? Oh, he's firing cannons at me. This is actually a naval battle. Look at this. This thing's a beast. 24 pounders are reloading and he's turning his other cannons towards me. We're gonna do a scouting shot, aim a little lower. Full salvo. Uh-oh. Well, that's a lot of guys. Oh my God, ramming speed! <laughs> Which starts, automatically starts the boarding action. So this is what high tier looks like. I hit him, oh my God. It looks like Mountain Blade, but it definitely doesn't act like it. All right, and my guys are just in like full war gear. They, it looks cool. And after like three shots, I'm out of musket balls for whatever reason. They join in the hold and you can see this giant steam engine here. I don't know for certain, but there's not a lot of meat to these potatoes. What happens if I jump in the water? The captain's dead. Why can't I swim? <laughs> oh my god, I jumped overboard. They look really cool. Now what happens when I right click? Whoa, whoa, check this out, guys. I'm intimidating the enemy. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go onto their ship. And just like the city, there's not a whole lot to do when you're on it. So we lost 14 people, or we lost 10, and we have 14 wounded, and we killed everybody on board. So you can do that, or if you want to do a quick battle, you want to do directly to the boarding action. So let's go with uh, a heavy war schooner versus a tartane, whatever that is. We'll do full battles, and we start with the boarding action. Oh, that ship does look really cool, but I don't think we've ever had a problem with things looking cool. Oh my god, look at the swords. Hey, that man shot at me. Hmm, well, I'm gonna join the other ship. I pressed E. I pressed E to board. I'm stuck. Still pressing E, there we go, I'm there. Okay. Hello, boys! Let's have a party! This looks like an elven ship from like Lord of the Rings or what I'd imagine it to look like. And I'm dead, immediately. There's no real good melee mechanics. Ranged stuff, Lantine Slaymaker. All right, boys, let's get on the other ship. There we go, we took it over, yay! Okay, yeah, I don't know. I would have spent five bucks on this, maybe, with the promise that it was gonna get better. I really hope that something happens with this. It's still early access. There might be patches, I don't know. But right now, that's gonna be it for me on this game. This has been Feral Blue. I hope it does get better. I hope the combat gets filled out. I hope there's stuff to do in the cities. I hope that, like, the economy and trading makes more sense. But as of now, I just don't know what this what this game's gonna be like. I just know about what it is. And right now, it's just not enough. Yeah, it's early access, but you'd think if you're selling a game at $18.99 in early access, there'd be more to it. That's a lot of money for a game. I regret my purchase. That's just me personally. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I was gonna ask uh, if you want to see more of this, but I'm gonna wait. So even if you do, I'm gonna wait. And I'll see you guys in the next one.